called us uh, once we had uh, reached Sydney's house and uh, basically yelled at us and said, what are you doing? Sydney's building is, you know, there's glass and the windows everywhere. Uh, you're nuts. You need to go to the Superdome because it'll be much safer there. And we basically told them again, uh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, as it turned out, you made an excellent choice because that, that was reduced to absolute um, mass hysteria, that whole mess. And we will talk about that. So now um, you're watching people leave. Now the place is a ghost, literally, the ghost tour guy is looking out the door, and the place is ghost town now. And right. how long was it before the impact hitches? Uh, it, it was actually um, that night that uh, the, the first wind started up. Mm -hmm. um, I think the power actually went out before we even noticed that it was starting to get windy. Well, did the power go out? Wait a minute. The power must have gone out first because, or was that the next night that you had the dream about the stars? No, uh, the, the power actually went out, I think, before the storm even arrived. The power went out before the storm? Right. Is that before the guys on the bicycle came by, or was that after the storm? The, the bicycles were after. Okay, sorry. That's okay. I don't want to mess up the timeline. <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. Okay, so the storm hit, and what what went on? Um, when it first hit, and the winds and the rain first came down, I distinctly remember this, I guess because I'm a mom, um, there was a little kitten outside. We had heard a kitten outside, and um, we all went out in the rain and the winds um, trying to get this kitten in the house. For the life of us, we just didn't want to see anything happen to this kitten. Mm -hmm. And um, we chased that around for a while, and it, it just wouldn't, it didn't trust us. Right. Um, it so happens that throughout the duration of the hurricane and after the hurricane, we would hear this poor kitty and what would, what would end up ultimately happening to it, which was, terrible, and I'll try to stay in chronological order, but um, that night then, when we went in the house, um, we set up camp, and um, everyone picked a different bedroom, right? That's what we did in that. Yeah. And, um, you already had a child. How old was that baby? We had two child. Uh, two children. Two, two, two childs. Two okay. Two, how, how old were they? Um, Autumn was almost two, mm -hmm. and Willow was four. No, was she? Not three? I thought she, she was three. Four? Was She's she? going to turn five. But they're eight. tiny. Okay. Yeah. They're little. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, so we set up camp in the bedroom, and um, we lay down, and I tried to get the kids to sleep because I didn't want them to hear the storm. Um, they're particularly scared of thunderstorms now. I'm not sure if they were before the storm. Um, but we got them to sleep, and I wasn't able to sleep through the storm at all. I don't remember if you stayed awake all night, Matt, because yeah. I remember there was no talking. We really, honestly, God, did not talk to each other. I think we were just paralyzed in our own fear and our own thoughts. Um, the wind was really bad. And because um, Matt's boss didn't put any of the typical what you would see when the hurricanes come in New Orleans, everyone prepares by putting the boards on their windows. Um, Matt's boss didn't put the boards on his windows. And we lay there, and we were in an upper upstairs bedroom. And, well, anyway, I laid there thinking, okay, what's my plan of action if these windows break and, and the glass comes flying in and it's going to fly towards my children. What do I do? How do I jump over their bodies? And God, please let them know that I love them and I will, you know, let the glass take my life in order to save theirs. And that's all I could think about all night as I lay there during the storm. Okay. And, and you know, um, I'm sure now people are putting wood <laughs> and, and Blocking windows now. Um, so now you're you're scared to death. You're in a bedroom. Um, did you at any point think, well, let me put them in the hallway, you know, away from the the, the uh, outside walls or anything? Wouldn't that be a 
<laughs> Smart choice. Um, no, at any point, I never thought that. I thought of my own body as a shield. That's all I thought. I don't know why I didn't think to put them in the hallway. Do you mean that? No. I, I don't know. I don't think we were fully rational at that point. Yeah, right. I don't think we were. This seems to have caught you both, uh, caught you all, um, very um, uh, uh, unawares. You know, like, okay, it's a hurricane. It won't be that bad. We'll be fine. We'll ride it out. And and right. you never, ever considered in the beginning how bad it was going to get. Personally, no, I didn't because of the seven years there where it never, for us, was bad. So, no, it just didn't cross my mind that it would can actually I, be bad. Can I ask, how old were you when this, this hit in 205? Um, 29, Matt, right? I was you're 29. 29 mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. uh, you're just babies. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> you're just babies. Um. <laughs> You're going to have to add a whole bunch of years to me to uh, <laughs> catch up, ma'am. Another <laughs> lifetime for both of you. Uh, okay, so the children, did they seem apprehensive? Did they seem to be catching on to your fear, or were they doing pretty good? Um, our oldest daughter was very aware from the moment that I woke her up. Um, she was sleeping when we got word that we needed to go over to Matt's um, boss's house. When I woke her up, I said to her, Willow, you have to get up and you, you have to change your clothes or we have to get some things packed or I can't remember exactly what I told her she needed to do, but I remember these words exactly that I said, the water man is coming. I chose those words because um, from an early age, I felt that it was necessary to keep her mind open and aware of her world. Um, around her, not just neighborhood, I literally mean world, I would allow her to watch um, news events of earthquakes and disasters. She um, was very much touched and upset by the tsunami. I let her see all the video footage that I could find on that. Um, I let her see the pictures of the orphaned children and what had happened there to their, the people. And she was very shaken by that. So when I said, she called it the water man. That was her term for the tsunami. So when okay. I said the water man is coming, she snapped too, very alert and very ready to do whatever was necessary 